Feminism, an evil, evil plan to take over the world of men. Or is it? Are you a woman? What does it mean to be a woman? For Simone de Beauvoir, being a woman is being the other. In other words, woman is not man. Woman is the incidental, the essential, as opposed to the essential. He is the subject, he is absolute. She is the other. In her book, The Second Sex, Simone de Beauvoir asserted that man is defined as a human being and woman as a female. Whenever she behaves as a human being, she is said to imitate the male. Like wearing pants. Simone de Beauvoir also emphasized that one is not born, but rather becomes a woman. Meaning that the views of individuals are socially and culturally produced. Femininity is not inherent. And it is a construct that has been learned through socialization to keep men dominant. De Beauvoir argued that women have historically been treated as inferior and secondary to men for three reasons. 1. Society teaches women to fulfill men's needs and to exist in relation to men. 2. Society teaches women to follow external cues to seek validation of their worth. And 3. Females have historically fewer legal rights than men and therefore less public influence. To achieve liberation, de Beauvoir considered that women must recognize the social norms as construction. And thus, feminism emerged as an ideology that aims to define and establish the political, economic, personal and social equality of the sexes. But is it not a problem that a woman have a smaller brain than a man? There is still a long way to go before men and women have equality all over the world and resistance to this idea has not disappeared. But the government scientist Dr. Yama have proved his size of squirrel. In short, I think that feminism could be summed up by the words of Dorothy Parker, who once said, My idea is that all of us, men as well as women, whoever we are, should be considered as human beings.